Over the past 50 years, sperm count in Western countries has been decreasing by up to 60%. If this trend continues along the same lines, then the sperm count is expected to drop to zero by 2045. One of the biggest reasons why sperm count is dropping in men has to do with obesity, physical inactivity, stress and exposure to different chemicals. They turn the friggin' frogs gay! But in this video we're gonna talk about how do you actually increase sperm count and improve sperm quality. Don't! The first and foremost thing you need to do is to minimize your losses and reduce your exposure to these kinds of chemicals. But if you're already low in sperm count, you need to do things that actually increase it. So here are some ways to increase sperm count or sperm quality in general. Lose weight. Obesity lowers testosterone levels and impairs sperm quality. Losing weight has been shown to increase semen volume, concentration and mobility. Weight loss also improves sperm DNA integrity in obese men. You probably don't want to be underweight or too low body fat because that will also impair sex hormone production, but optimal ranges for men are somewhere between 8 to 15% body fat. Losing weight should always be done at the expense of body fat, not muscle, because more muscle is healthier for your metabolism. One study found that sperm contains epigenetic information based on the father's weight. If you conceive while being overweight, you're transmitting epigenetic marks to the child that increase their likelihood of also becoming obese, such as increased appetite or reduced insulin sensitivity. Likewise, if you are lean and healthy, your sperm will also have epigenetic factors that make the child more likely to be lean and healthy. So it might be better to lose some weight first before having a child. No! The same weight loss study found that consuming 1000 mg of vitamin C every other day improved sperm concentrations and mobility, but semen volume stayed the same. Sperm is vulnerable to oxidative stress, which is why you need to have your antioxidant defenses optimized. Other antioxidants shown to protect and improve sperm count are beta-carotene, vitamin E, lutein and beta-cryptoxanthin. Habitants living in highly polluted areas have been shown to have lower total sperm count. The more pollution you're exposed to, the more antioxidants you also need. Smoking reduces sperm quality as was shown by a large World Health Organization meta-analysis. Drinking alcohol and substance abuse also does the same. No specific diet or food appears to be important for sperm quality besides moderation in calories and avoidance of junk food. However, soy and isoflavon intake has been seen to reduce semen quality parameters because of containing phytoestrogens that mimic estrogen in the body. Vitamin D. One study found that men with low vitamin D have lower pregnancy rates. People with low vitamin D have lower testosterone and supplementing with vitamin D raises testosterone. Low vitamin D and calcium are linked with semen quality and sex steroid levels in infertile men. So you will want to get some exposure to sunlight on a frequent basis. Get enough zinc. Zinc is essential for hormones and reproductive function. Supplementing zinc increases sperm count at least in those who are deficient in zinc. Low folate intake also is associated with poor sperm density and increased sperm DNA damage. Fennel and cumin extract have been seen to improve sperm quality in obese rats by inducing weight loss and reducing leptin. Fenugreek, which is another spice, has been shown to do the same. Taking 675 mg of ashwagandha for 90 days has increased sperm count in 46 men by 167%. Taking 1.75 grams of maca root powder for 3 months has also seen to increase sperm count and motility by almost 100%. Get healthy fats. Infertile men who supplemented with omega-3 fatty acids have seen a significant improvement in sperm motility and concentration compared to those not taking omega-3s. On the flip side, consumption of trans fats has been seen to reduce sperm count. Weightlifting has been seen to be associated with higher sperm concentrations. However, strenuous exercise like long distance running and endurance cycling seem to lower semen quality. Bicycling more than 5 hours a week has been consistently seen to reduce semen quality because the testicles are being put in a tight spot between a rock and a hard place. Go! Go! Get adequate sleep. Both too little and too much sleep can lower sperm count. A study found that sleeping over 9 hours was associated with a 21.5 reduction in semen volume and 39.4% reduction in total sperm number. Sleeping less than 6.5 hours was associated with 4.6% reduction in semen volume and 25.7% reduction in total sperm number. So sleeping over 9 hours may be actually more detrimental to your sperm quality. Sleeping too little is probably related to stress, whereas sleeping for too long is probably going to overheat the testicles and uh, limit their movement. You might be wondering, how does ejaculation or having sex affect sperm count? A 2018 review of 28 studies found that during longer abstinence from ejaculation, like 5 to 8 days, semen volume and sperm count goes up, which is to be expected. Semen quality, however, tends to improve with shorter abstinence, like less than 5 days. Another 2013 study found that semen quality improved by daily ejaculation. 
more frequent ejaculation also appears to lower the risk of prostate cancer. So chances are that you probably don't want to abstain from ejaculation for any longer than a week at maximum. Watching pornographic images might also increase sperm quality because of perceived sperm competition. Looking at porn that depicts another man and woman appears to increase sperm motility and activity more so than looking at only women. That's kind of nature's weird way of saying that you need to get your swimmers moving up to compete with other men. <laughs> Overall, a healthy lifestyle is going to improve your sperm count and sperm quality. However, because our environment is so overburdened with things that lower sperm quality, such as chemicals and pesticides, it's becoming harder to keep your swimmers active. But that's it for this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.